Hola, Gemini, Sun, Capricorn, Moons, Moons. <laughs> Welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It does not matter the time of year. I am doing these in orders of order of requests in the comments, so be sure to post your request up. First portion of this reading will be your um, <clears throat> we'll go over your traits of your Sun Moon sign, and then I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. Second portion of this reading will be the link below. To the Vimeo reading where we will have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers um, dividing the year up into four separate quadrants and if it resonates consider a personal reading my rates my info my email are below okay so Gemini Sun Capricorn Moon you guys are very good at establishing your goals um, <clears throat> you you don't have to like get your thoughts in order you don't have to get your perspectives in order or justify them to people. Um, people really, you inspire other people because you're very well spoken, obviously, because you guys are the communicators, but you have your Capricorn class that goes along with it, that kind of refines it. You're also efficient, self-controlled, very disciplined. When it comes to emotions, you really try to stay control of your emotions. Um, because you know that everything that you say can cause a reaction. So you tend to be um, very careful emotionally. You stay very steady in that regard. Um, because you're a Capricorn moon, you tend to be a little more somber and a little more serious than most Geminis are. But you are very excited a lot of times and you tend to have um, a lot of interest when it comes to communicating to people, okay? You're cool, you're calm. But you can also be detached, very ambitious, very strong. You can talk people into anything. So you can sell ice to, what is it? Sell ice to an uh, Eskimo, igloo to an Eskimo. Because you have a lot of magnetism, you have a lot of charm, you're very smooth, okay? Um, you do like power and you do like influence. And that's usually, that's usually how you kind of position yourself um, your positions yourself in life to kind of acquire that you're very aware of how people are attracted to you and you're very good at putting that uh, towards um, to serve you best or to use it um, you know use it to your benefit you don't you're not a person that really kind of shares or reveals your feelings on the surface you have a personality that's really dynamic um, but you know, when it comes to the deep feels and stuff like that, you're not one to kind of let people know you keep those under the surface. You do have a desire for power and you have a sense of dignity. You have a sense of integrity and you really have a deep sense of morality, moral values, ethics. When it comes to getting a deal, you're the ones that usually get the best deal because you know how to negotiate it and you know how to charm your way into it. Um, try to put a little more into spirituality, kind of get connected with your spiritual side. You might be a little bit too detached, a little bit too like earthy, and you need to kind of explore a little bit more of that. Um, the biggest challenge you're going to have in 2020 and just as general is to realize a side of life that has more meaning, okay? Because you know, material, the material aspects or the practical aspects, you tend to tend to those too much. And like I said, we're going back to spirituality and like the deeper meaning of life and all that kind of, all that kind of elusive stuff. Um, be careful because as you get older and in your older age, you can become bitter, depressed, possibly sad. Um, if you don't recognize what we just talked about, how much life has to offer and all the nuances and all the other stuff outside of practicality. You're very good at overcoming obstacles and difficulties because you don't quit. You have huge resolve. You plod forward. You have a very good power of persuasion in regards to other people. You can get people to do your will. And you also sense what their vulnerabilities are, so you kind of kind of use that. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are master manipulators in that regard. Um, you do have a lot of personalities, a lot of cogs, like personalities moving around um, because you're trying to be, you're trying to get influence, you're trying to be recognized. 
be careful that your desire to climb to the top or your desire for power isn't being done um, at the expense of other parts about you. Don't, again, don't do everything just in the name of your material possessions. There's more to life, okay? So that's kind of what you should concentrate on in 2020. So let's kind of see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, or clarity, your insight for Gemini, Sun, Capricorn, Moons for 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know so they can reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe, closer to the divine, and for their greater good? Any messages you have that could help Capricorn, I mean, Gemini, Sun, Capricorn, Moons in 2020 would be greatly appreciated. What do you see for Gemini, Sun, Capricorn, Moons for January, February, March? For January, February, March, we have the Page of Wands in the upright. What do we see for April, May, June for Gemini, Sun, Capricorn, Moons? April, May, June, what do you see? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands in the upright. What do you see for Gemini, Sun, Capricorn, Moons? July, August, September, we have the Sun card. And October, November, December, what do you see for Gemini Sun, Capricorn Moons? We're pulling out the Two of Pentacles. All right, I see the beginning of the year. You guys have a really great idea. It's it's an idea that's going to bring about change. It's an idea that's going to inspire people. Um, it's something that's very positive. Um, could be a career, could be an investment, could be a project. Whatever it is, it's very promising. Okay, so I see that in January, February, March, but it's so good that in April, May, June, I see you very worried about someone taking this idea. So if you're going to have something like this, I would say keep it very close. Um, keep your cards close because I feel like there are other people who might try to steal this idea or might try to jump on it. And I see you kind of looking around very concerned that that's going to happen. Um, because this really is, I really think that whatever this is, it's going to radically change a business, radically change a situation, a community or what have you. Um, it could be profitable to you in some way, so you could get some sort of success out of it. But I see that you're worried about other people finding out about it. And trust me, if people do find out about it, they are going to take that idea and run with it. In July, August, September, I see you kind of... Um, experiencing all the fruits of this labor because the sun card is one of the most positive cards you could have in the deck you're fulfilled you're joyous you're optimistic everything seems to be working out for you during this period of time and it could very well be because of what you accomplished in the beginning of the year and in october november december i see the two of pentacles and you working very about that interrupt so working very hard very diligently and I think it's because of all of this to kind of keep up the momentum um, so you know like I said working very hard to keep this going whatever it is maybe you'll be taking on a lot of different projects or multitasking or what have you but keep in mind during the end of the year uh, especially since it's holiday time you might not have a lot of time for loved ones you might not have a lot of time for yourself because of everything that's going on it does get a little hectic towards the end of the year so make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. It'll take you to the clarifiers that I'm gonna be pulling on this. We'll go a little bit more in depth into it. Um, also keep in mind that if you'd like a personal reading, just send me an email, rates, info, and email are below. I'm on Instant Go if you need a quick answer to a question. I'll turn it in 24 hours. I'm also on Facebook, I'm on Insta. And then check out my playlist for your 2019 readings while you're waiting for your 2020. They are still in there. Otherwise, good luck to you all in 2020. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.